Hey guys, it's the Jelly Bean, and I'm here to show you how I did my makeup for Nijiri Hado from Boku no Hero Academia. First, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer by Wet n Wild. I've been using this product for the past five years, and for less than five dollars, you can't beat this product. Now I'm going to go in and prime my face with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. For my eyebrows, I'm using an angled brush and I'm going in with the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ash Brown. I start by filling in and drawing the end of my eyebrow and then I work my way to the inner corner of my eyebrow. I'm going to be using the 351 Icy Fantasy Morphe palette to cover my lid. I'll be using this light peachy pink color to be my base. Then I'll use this taupey brown color to start defining my crease with this fluffy blending brush. And here's where you can see that I forgot to clean up my brow, so I'm going back in with my Morphe M421 brush and some concealer to do that. And just to make sure that all the ends are blended out perfectly, I'm using my foundation brush to finish that off. Now I'm going to use the Nature Glow 350 Morphe palette in this dark brown color with a tapered blending brush to define the crease even more. With that same brush, I'm going to go in with the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette and use the color High Dude to deepen the crease. Now with that same Morphe brush from earlier, I'm going to use that in my Julia's Place concealer in shade 24 to carve out a cut crease. I have hooded eyes and it's hard to see all the work I do on my eyelid if I don't do this. If you don't have hooded eyes, don't worry about this. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Going to use this Huda Beauty Neon Pink palette in this light peachy pink color to deepen my crease. Now I'm going back in with the Icy palette and I'm using this berry colored eyeshadow and a flat packer brush to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Now with that same brush and the Huda Neon Pink palette, I'm using that darker peach color to go ahead and define the outer corner even more. Also going back in with that fluffy blending brush and blending it all out. Back with the Jeffree palette, I'll be using the color 2 to highlight the inner corner of my eye and blend that out into the pink shades that I used previously. 
From that same Huda palette, I'm just using one of the shimmery pink foil shades to add a nice pop of highlight to the outer corner of my eye. I use my finger because it packs on the shimmer a lot better than a brush does usually. And now it's finally foundation time. I use the Jouer Cosmetics High Coverage Cream Foundation and the Morphe M444 brush. The shade I use is Warm Ivory. I cannot tell you guys how much I adore this foundation. It is pricey, but it has lasted me almost an entire year and the coverage is unheard of. It's super lightweight, it's cruelty free, it's vegan and contains no oils. On a side note, all the products that I use are cruelty free, but not necessarily vegan. After I blend out the concealer under my eye, I'll go in with a powder and set it. To that Nature's Glow Morphe palette, I'm using this taupey warm color to line my lower lash line. Welcome to me struggling to do my least favorite makeup thing, which is putting on my eyeliner. I use the Vinyl Liquid Liner by NYX. It's phenomenal and it doesn't budge. blush I'm going to use this Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher in the color Grapefruit Jelly and I'm going to apply a generous heaping to my cheeks and my nose. And I forgot to do contour before blush so that was really cool. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Amber to contour my cheeks and under my jaw. I'm using that same Morphe M444 brush to blend it out. Now while I love that cookie blusher, it just doesn't pop enough for me for cosplay makeup. So I go back in with the Oh Honey Trixie Mattel and Sugar Pill palette in their blush color Barbara to make it really bright. Now that still isn't enough pink for my blush, so I'm going back in with that Morphe Jeffree Star palette and using the color Self Made to make it even more pink. Now I'm just going to use my I Love You So Mochi palette by NYX, the pink highlight color, to highlight my cheeks and my nose. I'll use a smaller brush to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye, because you can never have too much sparkle. And if my face doesn't look like a disco ball by the end of this, I'm very unhappy with my makeup. For lips, I'm using the Sugar Pale Cosmetics X Trixie Mattel in the color Barbara. I adore this lipstick, it's one of my favorites. It is a nice peachy pink color with flecks of rose gold. It was also a limited edition specialty shade that came with the palette and is no longer in production, so once this is gone, I'm never seeing it again. I also use the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the color group Love to do an ombre lip effect. All that's left is to set your face. I'm using the NYX Matte Setting Spray and add your lashes. The lashes that I use are the Eyelure Lux Silk in Asher. These are my absolute favorite eyelashes to use for anime characters. Don't forget to blend your actual lashes with your fake ones. I'm just using some Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. 
And that's how I do my makeup for Nedgeray Hatto. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like how I did my wig for Nedgeray, I actually have a tutorial already uploaded and on my channel if you'd like to check that out. I'll catch you guys later.